So I came across a Reddit post, and a lot of people were running with this Reddit post about this upcoming leak for what the next trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home is actually going to be. So I figured, you know, it'll be a great idea to, like, at least discuss some of the elements in this Reddit post, whether it's credible or not credible. That's not really the discussion. We're just going to talk and kind of theorize what these leaks are and what the implications of these leaks could possibly mean for the actual movie if they are, in fact, true. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So right now I'm on Reddit and I'm coming across this post and I usually don't look up leaked stuff, but I'm trying to find information and stuff on the movie, you know, topics to talk about here on the channel because, you know, there's not really a whole lot to talk about other than the other upcoming series on Disney+, Plus, and there's really not a whole lot that I can dive into, but I love Spider-Man, and I'm really looking forward to Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, normally I stay away from all types of leaks, but this is just a leak on a trailer. So I, I went in, kind of watched some people's videos on it. A few people, credible people, are actually we talking about this and I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I've read going over this trailer. Now, apparently the rumor is that this trailer is going to be released anywhere between November 15th and November 17th. Now, that's later on today and maybe a couple days from now. Anywhere from today to possibly Tuesday is when they're targeting according to this leak and apparently we're going to see more of the villains and we're going to see um Peter talking to someone from Feast. If you guys don't know what Feast is, Feast is sort of like this, this shelter for homeless people where Peter and his aunt works at. Miles Morales volunteers a couple times. So whether or not they decide to put Miles Morales in this movie, that is the speculation that's going around. And then the trailer is supposed to end with a voice of Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield. Well, actually, not a voice. That's not what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is Peter's going to be in some trouble. And you're going to see two shadows coming in. And the silhouettes are going to be of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. And you're going to hear a combination of their theme songs combined. And they're not going to say anything. You're not going to see anything. And they're going to leave the trailer off with that. So I think if they do do that, I like that idea. The fact that they're not going to show these actors coming back as these characters in the trailer. Save that for the movie. Save the pop for the movie. Go ahead and imply that, yes, they are in this movie by showing the silhouettes of them and playing their music. Um, I think that's very, very interesting. Um, uh, Andrew Garfield doesn't really have a theme per se because the... The score that they had in the first Amazing Spider-Man movie is completely different than the score they had in the second Amazing Spider-Man movie. So I assume they're probably going to go with the latest score, which was the Hans Zimmer score in Amazing Spider-Man 2. And then, of course, you know, Tom McGuire Spider-Man is very, very infamous. Uh, that score is very, very synonymous with Spider-Man. So that's going to be an easy recognition. And, yeah, so I'm completely down for that. It, it's, I like the idea that they're teasing, not showing, because the last thing you want to do is actually go in and spoil the big the big money shot the big money shot of them coming in and i think that this movie has a lot on its plate whether or not the leaks that john campia leaked out whether you know with, with him and andrew garfield tom mcguire and then matt murdoch whether those leaks are legit or not i'm not entirely sure john campia did take them down hours after releasing them so that tells me that someone from the studio probably contact them i could be wrong i haven't followed john campia in a long time but i know he posted those those clips or those 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 screenshots and then took them down claiming that he thought they were fake so again you have to take this with a grain of salt because right now everybody and their mother is coming up with theories and plot details and leaks and i know there's like a leak script going around i'm staying away from that i don't want to know anything that's going to actually happen in this movie other than the fact we know that the villains in the multiverse whatever come together and we we have a theory that andrew garfield and tom mcguire is in this movie but overall i'm trying to stay away from actual leaks that's going to lead into plot details of the movie because one if you read those leaks and the leaks are so great and there's none of that's in 
the movie is going to tamper how you feel about the movie. I want to judge the movie on the movie itself, not go into the film with preconceived expectations on what I'm expecting judging by these leaks that I have seen. I want to judge the film for the film itself, but in terms of looking at trailers and possible leaks for trailers, we all know a trailer is coming up very, very soon. Should be dropping any day, if according to these leaks are true, anytime between today and possibly Tuesday, that trailer is going to leak, and we're just going to have to play it by ear and see what exactly happened. But those are overall the leaks. I didn't go into a lot of detail from the leaks. I just kind of talked about some of the plot points of what's going to be in here because I don't want to really spoil anything, but this is really just a topic for discussion. We're just discussing the possibilities of these things actually happen, not rather than they are actually confirmed or not. You just got to kind of take them as fan theories or potential leaks in that case. But anyway, I wonder what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. Also, if you want to help support the channel, hit the join button, pick a tier best suits you, and become a part of Storm Nation. Until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion. Later, guys.